In this tutorial, I'll show you step by step how to create a realistic shadow in Photoshop. We'll build everything from scratch, follow along carefully and you'll get the exact same result. First open Photoshop and create a new file. Set the Y to 3000 pixels and height 2000 pixels. Keep the orientation landscape, the resolution at 300 pixels per inch and leave everything else as default. Then click create. Next go to the file menu, place embedded, choose the image you want to create a shadow of, click place and then click ok. Now select the background layer and add a gradient fill adjustment layer. In the gradient options, go to the basics and select the very first gradient. Double click on the dark color stop and pick a dark green color from the subject. Make it even a little darker. Then double click on the white stop and choose a light green. Make it slightly lighter. Click OK. Set the angle to 30 degree so the light comes from the top right corner. Turn on dither and click OK. Now let's remove the background from the subject. From the toolbar select the quick selection tool and either create a selection manually or use select subject. Once the subject is selected, add a layer mask to remove the background. Now press Ctrl and T to transform, resize and position it. Click OK when it looks right. Now select the gradient fill layer again and create a new blank layer. Choose the polygonal laser tool and begin drawing the first shadow shape. Once the selection is active, add a solid color adjustment layer, fill it with black and click OK. Right click this layer, choose convert to smart object and rename it shadow 1. Now go to filter, blur gallery and field blur. Here you'll see blur points, add 4 points on the corner of the shadow. Increase the blur of the top point to about 51 pixels and move it upward. Do the same for the middle right point. For the middle left point, set the blur to about 230 pixels and move it downward. Adjust the last point like the third one so the shadow looks natural. And then click OK. Next, go to the filter, blur and Gaussian blur. Set it about 25 pixels and click OK. Reduce the opacity of shadow 1 down to 0. Then slowly increase it. I think it's perfect around 30%. Now add a layer mask. Invert it with Ctrl plus I. Then select the brush tool. Make sure the hardness is at 0%. Use a soft round brush and set the foreground color to white. Paint softly on the shadow area to reveal it. If the shadow is too much, switch the foreground color to black and paint to hide. That's the first shadow complete. Now let's add another one. Create a new layer. Use the polygonal laser tool again 
and this time draw a smaller half shadow compared to the first. Add a solid color adjustment layer, fill it with black and convert it to a smart object. And rename it to shadow 2. And again go to the filter, blur gallery and fill blur. Add 4 points again and add just like before. Click OK then go to the filter, blur, gaussian blur. Set it to around 6 pixels and confirm. Lower the opacity to about 35% so this one looks slightly darker than shadow one. Now add a layer mask and invert it. And then with the white brush paint over the shadow. This gives us a stronger second shadow. Now for the third shadow, create a new layer and again use polygonal lasso tool to draw the shape. Add a solid color adjustment layer, fill it with black and convert it to a smart object. And then rename it to shadow 3. This time skip fill blur and just apply Gaussian blur around 55 pixels. Lower the opacity to about 40%. Create a layer mask and invert the mask. Now softly paint with the brush to reveal it. Make sure not to overdo. And there you go, the shadow is ready. But something still looks missing. Let's fix it with layer styles. Double click the subject layer to open the layer style. Turn on the inner shadow. Set the angle to minus 144. Uncheck the use global light. And then adjust the distance, choke, size and opacity until it matches the light. Then turn on the drop shadow. Turn off use global light and adjust distance, speed, size and opacity. Now duplicate the drop shadow to add an even darker layer for extra realism. Finally, select all the shadow layers, group them and add a group mask. With a soft black brush, remove extra areas of shadow that spill out unnaturally. And there it is, a complete realistic shadow created in Photoshop. So that's the entire process of building a realistic shadow in Photoshop. We combine gradients, solid color fills, and smart objects and multiple blurs to make it look natural and three-dimensional. Practice these steps with your own image and you'll get a stunning result every time. I hope you like this video, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.